had gotten used to talking into my phone in public spaces, but the iPad really and truly ups at another level. I wasn't quite clear. Camera issues aside, I realized why it took me so long to start filming. And it's because even though I set up this nice area in my, uh, in my house to record, I'm never home. I'm always on the go somewhere. It's like today's my day off and I'm riding an escalator with a grocery cart. I know what I need to talk about. I need to talk about coming out to my parents. I came out to my parents about two or three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And I meant to make a video as soon as it happened. However, that weekend got crazy. I was assisting my friend doing the fight choreography for a show here in Chicago. I get a panicked call the Thursday before Friday opening saying that one of the actresses has injured themselves and can I go on? Because my, the fight choreographer, who is the understudy, is in Canada at the World Conference. This is the weekend I had planned to come out to my parents. So I had a lot on my plate that weekend between that and coming out to my parents, which I had to do over the phone because my parents live in Texas and I live in Chicago. Thankfully though, having two very large things on my plate kept me from overthinking the other. I would start freaking out about coming out to my parents or vice versa. If I started freaking out about coming out to my parents, it would start bleeding into the show. And so what the weekend ended up being was about three to five hours of me in the space working, rehearsing either alone or with people that were just wonderful and showed up early. And then about 10 to 15 minutes of me going into the stairwell, listening to the last song from Bo Burnham's latest comedy special, and just keening and weeping in the stairwell and letting myself break down for, you know, five to 15 minutes and then pulling myself back together to go work for another three to however many hours for the show. I knew I had to get them together and I knew that I had to do it this weekend. I had to get it over with. I was so anxious and, you know, you say you're ready and then the time actually comes and you're like, oh my God, I don't think I'm ready. I text my dad. My mom doesn't text, but my dad does. So I text my dad and say, hey, give me a call whenever you and mom are free. I have the show tonight. Uh, other than that, I'm not doing anything. So my dad calls while I'm in the shower. And I get out of the shower because I know that this might be the only time that I catch them both together. I am dripping wet and naked. Very literally in a, you know, as vulnerable as they can be. And I tell them. And their response was absolutely nothing but love and support. They were not surprised. I don't think anyone has been remotely surprised that Charlie is a boy. Um, I mean, I was such a boyish kid. Like, there are pictures of me as a child shaving my face. I made a video before coming out to my parents about how scared I was. And honestly, I kind of feel bad posting it because I'm talking about, like, being worried that they're gonna cut me off and stuff. And they've been so supportive. Oh my God. I'm, like, actually physically transitioning came up with my dad recently. And I was kind of nervous. And he just said, you know, if you've made this choice because you need it to be happy and this is your decision, then we support you. I really, I can't ask for more than that. I can't. I could be asking for too much. Still not all on Facebook because of extended family, which is another conversation I need to have because I want, I want to be fully out. I hate it. I hate being 25 and being in a closet again. And especially just me being who I am and feeling proud if scared to be trans and knowing how important it is that I share my story and my journey for other trans people or for people that aren't trans and that don't know what it's like. And so I hate that I can't do it on there. So that's a conversation I need to have. I just came out to them a couple of weeks ago, like I said, and I know my aunt would say, my sister would say it's too soon, but this isn't their transition. This is mine. This is my transition. This is my life. And I can be courteous in coming out in the sense of taking time, and I can understand that I will not wait for anyone. I am done waiting. I am done denying myself the life and the body and the person that I am and that I've always known myself to be. It's the thing that kind of sucks about transitioning. You can have the most amazing and supportive and wonderful, fantastic friends and family, which I do. And I mean, it means that I'm surely doing something right, that I'm surrounded by so many great people. 
But regardless, you still transition alone. And so it's really making me truly for the first time in my life take hold of the reins of my life and be the captain of my ship, commander of my destiny, master of my fate, and all those fun things. So I just spent like five-ish minutes looking for hangers, going to storage, going to clothes apartments, walking to the elevator. Guys, then I go downstairs in the Target. <laughs>